issue of uh, arming of the guards will come certainly as the last uh, uh, regulation that we are going to do in the industry. But before we do that, the arming process of the guards, I think the issue here is not whether we are going to arm or not. The issue is how are we going to achieve that. It has been done in other uh, jurisdictions. <coughs> Our neighbors in Uganda have done it. Um, our brothers in South Africa have done it. In other jurisdictions and democracies have also done it. So basically, we all saw what happened at the seat. And we saw uh, the first point of entry were the private security guards. And they didn't, they didn't do anything, literally. Uh, you cannot uh, protect yourself using a rungu with somebody who has come with a machine gun, for example, or somebody who has come with an AK-47. They need to be one, properly equipped, properly trained for them to be able to know how to respond uh, to such situations. And uh, maybe uh, just to put uh, things right, the first thing we are going to do before we do the arming uh, of the guards is one, we are going to address their welfare. You cannot give a gun uh, to a guard on an empty stomach. 